As qualifying comes to a close, heat number one is going to be Joshua Heston and Patrick Coluccio on the front row, Stephen Lindo, Nathan Voss on the second row. Three of these four drivers still compete with each other in the Outlaw United Racing League, so these guys are used to how they run around each other, but throw Joshua Hessen in that mix. All right, everybody rolling up off of pit road. Coluccio on the high side, Hessen on the bottom, Nathan Voss, Steven Lindo in the second row. Heat number one will be eight laps. Hessen being the newcomer in the group. Trying to get a closer look at some of his decals on the paint scheme. I'm guessing the HRT is for Hessen Racing Team, but we'll have to confirm that this week. Pace truck about to drop off, and then it is heat number one. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. Heat number one is underway, and it's going to be side-by-side side into turn one. And, oh, Coluccio has to check up a little bit. It's three wide behind. And Coluccio goes all the way to the back. Nathan Voss and Stephen Lindo managed to slip by him as Coluccio had to check up to not get into the back of Hessen. And now Voss is in the wall. Voss gets a little bit of the wall in turn two, and now it is Coluccio on the charge back to the front. He's down under Lindo for second. Meanwhile, Josh Hessen running the fastest laps of the race. He is three tenths of a second faster than Lindo last time by. And Lindo now has Patrick Coluccio all over the back bumper. Nathan Voss is caught back up to the lead group. And last time by, Lindo closed the gap back up dramatically on Hessen. But Coluccio still looking for a way around Steve Lindo here. Lindo not running as low as what we saw him practicing earlier. Not running as low as what we're used to seeing out of him, but I can promise you the minute that bottom line starts to work in, he's going to be there. And Lin Lindo starting to look for a way around the 118 of Josh Hessen. He is starting to move down just a little bit. The question came up between races tonight. How many guys are going to rub? rub that right rear against the wall tonight, and the answer was all of them. Once we get to the feature, as the track slicks off, these guys are gonna be either right on the inside wall, right on the outside wall. There is no middle ground. And Hessen drops to the bottom as they come to the checker flag. It's gonna be Josh Hessen winning heat number one. Steven Lindo finishes second. Coluccio finishes third. And Voss finishes fourth. Heat number two. Will be Ryan Arbogast and Bryce Dickinson on the front row, AJ Bowman and Charles Silvis on the second row. All the Bryce Dickinson fans out there, this is his chance to pop a wheelie. Seriously. I really want to see. We saw the wheelie popping by AJ Bowman in the 410s. Bryce said with the right setup, he could do this and could pull it off in these cars. So I'm hoping he practices that this week and, and has something to show us by next week.
fact, I'll mention it to him later tonight. If he can get a replay of him popping a wheelie in one of these cars, I'll make a video of just Bryce popping wheelies in a Pro Late model. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air there. Down and away for heat number two. Bryce getting a little bit of a run up on the high side. Ryan Arbogast losing a little ground. He slides up. The tail end kicks out. It's not enough. And off of turn four, they're still side by side. But here comes Charles Silvis on the high side as well. Bryce back into the lead. It's a three-car battle for the lead. A.J. Bowman might be in the safest spot just behind these guys watching everything that happens. Oh, we've got a hard wreck out of turn four. Silvis. And Arbogast get together coming off of turn four. Both drivers pushing for everything they had. And it looks like Arbogast just drifted up a little too much off the bottom. First caution of the night. Bryce Dickinson still has the lead. Charles Silva is currently running in second. A.J. Bowman in third. Bryce Dickinson was starting to run away from the battle behind him just a little bit. Ryan and Charles were battling hard, and A.J. Bowman has been lurking right there. He keeps about a car length between him and the chaos, and it allows him to drive through it when it happens. Lights are out. They're going to go green flag this time. Bryce Dickinson had a very fast last lap. Pace truck is in. And Bryce is down and away. Green flag in the air. Bryce gets a good jump on the field. Arbogast now to second. Charles Silvis is in the wall. Now the battle for second is on as Bowman and Arbogast side by side. It looks like Bowman had a little bit had the nose ahead, but Arbogast has the momentum off of turn four and move him up to second. Bryce Dickinson, meanwhile, checked out. He has got a 1.3 second lead, but now Ryan Arbogast, clear of traffic, is trying to catch back up. And just ran the fastest lap of the night so far. Ryan Arbogast did as he tries to pick up some ground on the leader. And he gets the wall. Out of turn four, he grabbed the wall. Two to go. That allowed Bryce to check out almost two seconds. Now A.J. Bowman right there with him. Charles Silvis even starting to regain after getting stuck off of turn two. But Bryce Dickinson has the white flag. He is going to win heat number one. Or heat number two, excuse me. Ryan Arbogast has pulled away just a little bit. He's going to come home in second. A.J. Bowman finishing third. Charles Silvis finishing fourth. Bryce did say he'd get to victory lane tonight. Not enough time for him to go park there yet, but maybe during the warm-up. All right, drivers rolling off for warm-up. And they are going to line up for the four wide salute for the fans. Down the back straightaway, three wide. Such a cool sight every time they do. They do it every week, and it never loses its awesomeness. And here they 
they go, they're going to get their warm-ups in now. Or wreck. Because <laughs> it gets a little bit close as they come up to speed. And, yep, there you go. We've got two around already. Nathan Voss and I believe Patrick Coluccio. Bryce Dickinson, so far the fastest. We'll see if that holds through the warm-up. Joshua Hessen just laid down the fastest lap so far. They are really leaning on each other during warm-up. Save some for the race, boys. Hessen gets a little bit loose off into turn one. Looked like he might be using the brake to help the car rotate into turn one. Ryan Arbogast now has the fastest lap. like Charles was flipping down the front straightaway as did I believe Joshua Hessen and now Nathan Voss has the fastest lap so far remember once this track starts to really slick off they'll have two distinct grooves right down by the bottom wall right up top on the outside wall. These guys are going to be going both lanes to see which way is faster as Nathan Voss, you see how much momentum you carry off the high side. All right, just about a minute and a half left in warm-up. Just enough time to run to the snack bar, get yourself some food and drink and get ready for this awesome race. While you're standing in line, please hit the like and the share and all the buttons. Bryce Dickinson did say he was warming up his position in victory lane. Look for Lindo to be pulling the side job on Coluccio. Look for Ryan Arbogast to go for a win and take the points lead. Ryan Arbogast so far has consistently been the fastest, but as soon as we looked at him, he went into the wall. And let's hop in the car with A.J. Bowman for a minute. You can see what it's like going around this half-mile track at, in 15 seconds. Constantly sliding the car. He's constantly having to adjust. Steering both right and left to get around a left-hand corner. and still carrying a ton of momentum up off the bottom. He adjusts his line as needed. All right, practice or warm up coming to a close. It's time to go racing here at Eldora. And Patrick Coluccio gets a hard spin there from Arbogast. All right, the feature event here tonight, we'll see Joshua Hessen and Bryce Dickinson on the front row. Steven Lindo, Ryan Arbogast on the second row. Patrick Coluccio, A.J. Bowman of the third row, and Nathan Voss and newcomer Charles Silvis rounding out the field. I believe this is also Joshua Hessen's first week with this group, so could be very interesting he is the highest I-rated driver in here, as we mentioned. Fastest in qualifying. I, he was not the fastest in practice. I don't think he was really showing his hand during practice. So we'll have to wait and see if he has a dominating performance here tonight. Everybody rolling up off of pit road as the fireworks go off.
Joshua Henson or Joshua Hessen and Bryce Dickinson gonna lead them down. One more lap. Pace truck gonna drop off coming through turn four. 45 laps around Eldora. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. Off into turn one, and already Lindo is looking up the middle, but he's gonna go backwards as Coluccio down on the bottom looking for that position. They are spread out three and four wide all around the track, sorting back out into two wide, but down the back straightaway, it was a side-by-side -side battle all the way through. Bryce Dickinson up on the high side, starting to pull away of Josh Hessen just a little bit. Josh can send it deeper into the turns, but the momentum up off the turn on the high side, definitely benefiting Bryce Dickinson here. Lindo up trying to make something happen up the middle here. And we've got some cars in the wall back behind. AJ Bowman gets a little bit of the wall there. Up front, Steven Lindo still trying to find something that'll work up the middle. Hasn't been able to make the middle line work yet. Bryce Dickinson gets the nose ahead. He is counted as the leader at the line but off into turn one every time Joshua Hessen gets the nose back ahead this battle could go on the entire race oh Bryce hits the wall coming out of the front coming down the front straight away there's carnage behind caution There you see Bryce was already turned to the right. Lindo had nowhere to go. Both of them get together. Bryce Dickinson has gone to pit road for repairs. We'll see if he can get back up to the front. But now it's going to be Josh Hessen up front. Nathan Voss in second. Ar Charles Silvis in third. Ryan Arbogast fourth. Patrick Coluccio is fifth. A.J. Bowman in sixth, Bryce Dickinson coming off pit road in seventh, and it looks like Lindo will come off pit road in eighth after he gets repaired. I do believe Lindo uh, had to tow to pit road, so it will take a little bit longer. He might actually lose a lap here. The fastest lap of the race so far has was run by third place Charles Silvis. And he was three tenths of a second faster than the leader's fastest lap. Two tenths of a second faster than most of the field and almost two tenths of a second faster than Nathan Voss. Lights are out on the pace car. Looks like they are about to go green. Josh Hessen restarting on the bottom. Nathan Voss restarting up top. Everybody packed back up, getting ready to go green. Pace truck is in. Green flag is back in the air. They're down and away. Hessen gets a good jump on the restart. So does Charles Silvis, who has managed to slip up into second, but Voss fighting back on the high side. A.J. Bowman losing a little bit of ground on the restart. Hessen out front. The battle is on for second as Voss and Charles Silvas continue battling. Voss clears him out of turn two for second. Josh Hessen down on the bottom, but here comes Nathan Voss up top is starting to build some momentum here. Charles Silvas sends it back into the middle.
couldn't make anything work in the middle. Now he is back behind as Nathan Foss goes to the lead. Steven Lindo is off of pit road back in the race. He is currently one, two laps down. Charles Silvis trying to fight back in second. He's got, looks like he might clear Hessen on the bottom. But wait till later in the race, that bottom line might start coming in as we've seen Steven Lindo make that bottom line work here for the win more than once. Josh Hessen now back to third, Ryan Arbogast in fourth. Fifth place is Bryce Dickinson. AJ Bowman in sixth, Patrick Coluccio in seventh, Steven Lindo in eighth. Nathan Voss to the lead has now started to open up a gap. He's got almost one second over Charles Silvis. Silvis still having to battle intermittently with Josh Hessen. And Bryce Dickinson has made his way up to fourth now. He has gotten past Arbogast. He is coming back towards the front, folks. In fact, the last lap by, the only driver faster than Bryce Dickinson was leader Nathan Voss. Nathan's lead now 1.4 seconds. Bryce Dickinson, though, on the march to the front. Can he get up there and do anything with Voss once he does? He's about 2.8 seconds back from the leader, but he is coming quickly. Last time by, he was the fastest driver by far. He is gaining on Josh Hessen very, very quickly. Charles Silvis in second has managed to hold on to that position despite constantly having battles with Josh Hessen. And Nathan Voss is out front by quite a bit, 2.2 seconds. And it looks like Josh Hessen might be picking up some momentum. That bottom line might be starting to come in. Charles Silvis now dropping to the bottom. Bryce Dickinson still up on the high side. He is about six tenths of a second behind this battle and he is closing. Ryan Arbogast also staying in his tire tracks. He might come into play before this race is over. AJ Bowman back in six. Coluccio starting to gain on him. Nathan Voss, though, has, his lead is starting to shrink. Charles Silvis is picking, making up some ground. It's now 1.2 seconds after being just over two seconds a few laps ago. Josh Hessen in third and Bryce Dickinson in fourth is now starting to work the bottom. Looks like the bottom line is coming in and it is getting quick. Ryan Arbogast in fifth place. Got the wall down the back straightaway last time. Lost a little momentum. Bryce Dickinson starting to lose a little bit of ground on Josh Hessen. We'll have to see if that changes. Charles Silvis continuing to close down the gap on Nathan Voss. It is now down to one second using that middle line. It's the first time we've seen several drivers try and make that middle line work. Charles Silvis, the first one to actually make it work through three and four. Oh, a little bit of the wall there. A lot of the wall down the back straightaway. Lost about two tenths of a second to the leader but starting to regain that already, 20 laps to go. Pulls it down off of turn two just a little bit, making sure he doesn't make the same mistake again. Joshua Heston for the first time is now getting out by the wall. He has moved, he's been running the bottom line the whole race, now moving up high. Bryce Dickinson was starting to mount a charge on that lead battle, but that charge has kind of diminished. He's managed to hold off 
everybody behind him, but he's losing ground to that lead pack despite running laps faster than everybody else in front of him. And now Ryan Arbogast is starting to turn the heat up as well. And Ryan now going to drop down to the bottom. He is going for fourth. And he's going to get it. Slide job. But here comes Bryce back down to the bottom. And Bryce going for the crossover move. He slides up. And now Ryan Arbogast is pulling the same move. And now move Ryan Arbogast back to fourth. <laughs> Looking back up front, Charles Silvis still has not closed in on Nathan Voss, but now Joshua Hessen right in his tire tracks. Meanwhile, Arbogast and, oh, Arbogast gets into the wall. Drives down the fence, he sticks the landing back down. Let's see if we can see what happened here. Caution is out. Oh, Bryce, when his back end kicked out, he just got into Arbogast just a little bit. Arbogast going to pit road for repairs. And this gives the drivers behind Nathan Voss an opportunity here. Nathan was dominating. He got a two-second lead. He had lost about a second of it. And then it was bouncing back and forth. One to 1.2 seconds was his lead. But now every driver behind him, even the guys that were starting to speed up a lot, have an opportunity again to see if they can find a way around. Additionally, Patrick Coluccio, I mean, uh, Stephen Lindo, I'm sorry, will now be back on the lead lap. Stephen Lindo, until that first caution flag, was up there battling with the top two the whole first part of the race until he got caught up in an incident. He now has the opportunity, if he can make his way through the field. If he can make it up to Nathan Voss, Joshua Hessen, and Charles Silvis, he might even have an opportunity here. As they get the one to green, Nathan Voss choosing to restart up top. And that's going to put Joshua Hessen restarting on the bottom. Bryce Dickinson and Charles Silvis on the second row. A.J. Bowman, Patrick Coluccio on the third row. Ryan Arbogast, Stephen Lindo on the fourth row. Pace truck is in. Green flag is in the air. They are down and away. Voss gets another good jump on the restart. Joshua Hessen, though, fighting back on the bottom. And here comes Bryce Dickinson on the high side for second. The battle is still going on. And holy cow, Josh really slides up that time. Bryce Dickinson dropping down to the bottom. He's going to send it into one and two. And Joshua Hessen manages to slip by Charles Silvis now trying to get by on the bottom. Bryce Dickinson fighting back on the high side. They touch coming through the front straightaway. Everybody goes the right way, but uh, Nathan Voss, meanwhile, has started to open up a bit of a lead, but now Joshua Hessen is bringing a, he is closing that gap down. Stephen Lindo, after recovering, he has made his way up to seven, looking for sixth on Coluccio. Ryan Arbogast back to fifth. Bryce Dickinson currently running in fourth. Charles Silvis in third. Josh Hessen in second is now losing ground to leader Nathan Voss. But anything could still happen here. They're going to have eight laps to go. And remember, on the last lap of the 410 race, A.J. Bowman went from fourth to second in a single lap coming out of turn four. So anything could still happen here with the eight laps to go. Nathan Foss's lead fluctuating around four tenths to half a second. They have pulled away from Charles Silvis. He is now a second back in third. Bryce Dickinson now having to battle Ryan Arbogast on the bottom. 
Ryan's going to clear him. Move Ryan Arbogast up to fourth. Bryce back to fifth. Steven Lindo is looking for fifth now. Five laps to go for Nathan Voss. Joshua Hessen trying to close that caution. Looks like Bryce Dickinson involved. And it looks like Bryce and Lindo got together. What happened there though? Looks like Bryce trying to drift up and carry momentum and Lindo got the run, just got stuck up on the high side. So it is Nathan Voss currently in the lead. Joshua Hessen will have one more shot at him on this restart. Charles Silvis in third, Steven Lindo in fourth. Sorry, Arbogast in fourth, Lindo in fifth. As the scoring updates, looks like Coluccio is going to move up to sixth. AJ Bowman in seventh, Bryce Dickinson in eighth. Things are going to get really sketchy with just a few laps to go here. And they get the one to green. Single file restart this time. You know Nathan Voss is going to be protecting that high line. Coming down the back straightaway. Expect Nathan Voss to move right up by the wall coming to the restart. Doesn't want to give anybody a chance up top. And there he makes the move up to the high side. Once the pace car is in, he'll control the restart. Pace truck is in, and he is down and away. Joshua Hessen was already looking to the inside for something, but not enough there. And Charles Silvis now down on the bottom. And it's going to be a battle for a second as Voss clears. He's going to get three to go. Josh Hessen looking, comes drifting back up to the high side. Charles Silvis down on the bottom trying to make something happen. Ryan Arbogast gets a little bit of the wall in turn two and here comes Lindo. Nathan Voss has suddenly gone backwards and he has gone to pit road. Josh Hessen now has the lead. We'll have to take a look at the replay after this, but Joshua Hessen gets the white flag. Steven Lindo up to second now. Arbogast back to third. And he is slow on the bottom. Charles Silvis is slow on the checkered flag, and it looks like uh, Hessen is going to pull the win. I do not know what happened there at the end. All right, let's see. Nathan Voss up front, a wiggle out of turn two. Did he run out of gas? I think the drivers ran out of gas on the last lap. Lindo comes home second, Arbogast third, Charles Silvis fourth, AJ Bowman fifth, Patrick Coluccio comes home sixth, Bryce Dickinson seventh, Nathan Voss is eighth, Let's talk to some of the drivers. Doug. Hey, Lindo, this is Doug. You got me? Yes, sir, Doug. Hey, uh, well, first off, probably not the way you expected to finish second, but am I right in assuming that a few drivers ran out of gas? Uh, yeah, I think all but two of us. <laughs> that is definitely not the what the expectation was, but with one lap to go, the field just kind of started dropping. Yeah, um, it, that really sucks for the guys that ran out, especially like Nathan. He was he led a good chunk of that race and ended up not being able to finish. 
Well, definitely a rough way for those guys to finish, but you still come home in second, although you did not get to pull the slide job on Coluccio. I did not. I thought I was going to get a chance there for a little bit, but then he ended up getting loose and I passed him around the top. But it was still a fun race. Yeah, it looked like a blast out there. You managed to come back from a lap down and come toward the front, so congratulations, man. Yes, sir. Thanks, Doug. All right, looking to see if Joshua Hessen is available. I actually do not see Hessen available to talk to. But we'll see if we can get a hold of third place Ryan Arbogast. Hey, Ryan, this is Doug. You got me? Yes, I do. Hey, uh, a third place finish, but obviously a little bit of a rough ending to that one. Yeah, um, we didn't calculate the field very well. <laughs> uh, caution laps always throw a uh, monkey wrench into tight fuel calculations. Yes, yes it does. Well, you still managed to come home with a third place finish. Uh, a couple of great races for you tonight overall. Yeah, I mean overall I wish there's a few more laps after getting ran up into the wall there in the late malls and having to go back to the back. I think we had a car to contend for the wind. I just need to stop making so many mistakes. I think we would have been up there. Well, yeah, you definitely did have the incident in the wall, but you managed to save it, recover for third, and it's still a great finish for tonight, man. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. It's always fun trying to run the fine line of the high side at Eldora. <laughs> this is very, very true, man. <laughs> All right, great job tonight, buddy. Thank you. And I'm questioning whether or not we should interview Nathan Voss here. We're going to try it. Hey, Nathan, this is Doug. You got me? Oh, man, I'm crying. <laughs> I was thinking you probably were. I did not even see you disappear off the track. We had to go back and see the replay. And as soon as I realized there was some weirdness going on and then I looked at the replay I realized what had happened and that had to have been heartbreaking after being the most dominant car well we kind of we, we all were talking about it in discord because you know my spotter came on my headset here and told me I had five laps to go when, when there was five laps you know when there was more than five laps to go in the race and I only had five laps of fuel uh, so we were all like, so what are we doing? And nobody was saying anything. And then we all ran out under that, you know, right after that last caution and man, what a heartbreak that, you know, I, I, I mean, I would have loved to have raced that thing all the way to the end and, and made for some good racing and, and some side by side, maybe with somebody was coming from, you know, from second there, yeah, man, that's just heartbreaking. I completely understand, buddy, but you can at least take some solace in knowing nobody could beat you tonight. They would, you'd watch cars get to your inside or get to your outside, but they just didn't have the speed to get around you, man. You had a great hot rod tonight. Man, thanks a lot, Doug. You can hear the heartbreak in Nathan's voice, and what a rough ending uh, to a dominant performance here tonight. Not seeing the uh, winner in the Discord, so we won't be able to get an interview with him. But thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Tomorrow night, uh, we will have something new, so make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitch, uh, Twitter, and the, uh, the Instagram, and all the other social media stuff. You can find all those links right there, htsai.net. And yeah, heartbreaking night for Nathan Voss. Great win by Josh Hessen. A a great night of racing overall make sure you're following us tune in sunday night brr cup series and fast and fun arca series but tomorrow night we're going to have some super late models so make sure you tune in for that as well thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful night